Hey, how are you two? Today we are going to install the ProScale Light Kit for the TRX4M Bronco body. My name is Santiago Salinas and this is the Stuff RC. Please subscribe. Let's start with the unboxing. The part number for the ProScale Light Kit for the TRX4M is the 9783. Inside the bag, we are gonna find something extremely important, the user manual with all the instructions we need in order to install this light kit. The actual lights, and you can see there's two, two LEDs here, also two here and one in each of these and the necessary hardware to install them. Also, they are providing with a couple of tail lights. I wonder why, we'll see in the process. Okay, let's start removing the body from the chassis. And here it is. So let's start following the steps. So for the step number one, we have to remove the headlights uh, retainers. For the step two, we have to remove the tail lights uh, retainers. Okay, let's do it. So we have the headlight retainers removed and we already removed the housing uh, or the taillight housing. For step number three, we have to install the headlines right here and then we have to route all the wiring below this crossbar right here toward to the rear, to the rear of the truck. Okay, let's do it. Something important to mention is that you have to install first the left headlight and then the right one. You will find a small L and R right here, so in that way you will know which one you have to install first. To do this, we will use the provided hardware, since these screws are a little bit longer than the, one, than the stock ones. There you go, they're installed. It was a little bit tricky to install them, I, I, I would say, but fairly easy. Uh, um, the only thing that holds these LED lights is this small screw right here and this one right here. And then you have to route, as I mentioned, all the wiring and the tail lights below this uh, crossbar. And let's move forward to the next step. In the next step, we have to position the new tail lights housing. This is the one, this is the, this, these are the ones we removed, but they're providing, providing you with the new ones. So we, you have to position them from the outside. So let's try to do it. So there you go. There you go, easy peasy. So pretty much the movement you, you, you want to do is start, look, with the screw hole here, you go inside and just, and you turn it a little bit and then you will be there, right here. For the last step, first we have to install the right tail light and then the left one based on the manual. So let's do it. And it is done, they are installed. I will be honest with you guys. I think that I'm gonna, I, I will move 
these wires from this position that is the one that, uh, that the manual is recommending to this position right here right here I think it will be cleaner because everything will 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 stay on the side instead of uh, on the side of the truck instead of uh, uh, that be in the middle but I don't like uh, okay I'm gonna make the change Okay guys, it is done. Uh, I will say that it's fairly easy. I I'll be honest with you, I didn't notice that uh, the, the body is providing with these small uh, holes right here in order to use uh, these uh, wire holders or these straps. Uh, so <laughs> I actually I actually use it right here. I, I keep it I keep the, the taillights wire hole using this body this body mount right here well small mistake but but it's okay i prefer to have it right here since it won't be noticed from the from the outside in the case of the power wire uh, the manual recommends to 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 use one of these straps right here in order in order to hold it in place uh, so you know what and i think i'm gonna do it <laughs> Why not? And let's go with my fancy cutter. And we are good. So this ESC is ready to accept this light kit. So pretty much the only thing you have to do is plug the, the Pro Scale kit right here in this slot. And we are good to go. Okay, let's do it. So let's turn on the transmitter and let's plug the battery to see the light kit working <laughs> wow this looks beautiful so with this light kit we have four different modes uh, i will run the default one uh, that pretty much what you get is the headlights the daytime running lights and the tail lights on the brakes light on when braking reverse light on when reversing let's see so guys, here are the lights working on the demo mode. You can see you have two different intensities on the headlights. Pretty, pretty nice. Also, you have the hazard lights and they look amazing. As I mentioned, the hazard lights, turn, they turn on when you turn off the radio. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you the tail lights. Then you can turn it off. You have the hazard lights. You also have the stop lights and the like and the courtesy lights. Pretty cool. So let's jump to my final thoughts. So here are my final thoughts, guys. Um, I really like this, like it. Pretty cool. The lights are pretty bright in both in the headlights and tail lights. Uh, you have two different intensities for the headlights plus the hazard lights. Same story for the for the tail lights. You have the courtesy lights, the reverse lights, and the stop lights plus, plus the hazard light. Pretty pretty cool. And the in the, 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 the Bronco body looks amazing with them. So plus you have you get four different modes with this with this uh, a specific kit. Uh, yet I have to say that they're, they're, they are not perfect. Uh, the first complaint I have is not about the lights, but about the body. The body, uh, and the reason why is because I don't know if you're able to see it. The, there's there is this glare right here. Since the lights are so powerful, they they pass through the hood. Uh, I hope you you are able to see that right here and right here. In the same in same story for the tail lights, you can see right here there is a glare. There is a glare, a red glare that actually is because since these are these are so powerful, they pass through the the the, the body. So that's you can address that in two ways based on my experience. The first one is you can just use some stickers to just block the light, right? I think that's the easiest way to do it. And it's the one that I I, I will use. 
And the second one is you can paint the body from the inside, first with a layer of white in order to, to maintain the brightness of this white. Uh, assuming the big assumption is you have either the white body or the, the, or the, or the blue one. Uh, I will stick with a, first with a layer of, of white and then a layer of black and that will solve the problem in both sides. Uh, that's the first concern I have. The other one I have is related with the, with the reverse light and the stop lights. So and here is the problem. Uh, I hope you are able to see it. When I press re reverse, you get the reverse lights. Yet, when you stop using it, they never turn off. So that's, a, that's something that I don't like. I don't know if it is something related with my transmitter or is something related with the, with the light kit. So I will contact Traxxas in order to, to clarify that. And the other problem I have is with the, the stoplights. That what, what I have seen in, in, in my other rigs with the, with the light kits is that when you release the trigger, the stop lights supposed to go on but in this case the only way i can get the stop lights is is pushing a little bit the the trigger and then i get my 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 stop lights uh, once again i'm not sure if this is related and there you go the the, the reverse lights are on and never goes, goes off so once again i don't know if this is related with my transmitter or is the is a i would say a problem or a related you know, with the with this kit uh, besides that, for twenty three dollars, that I think is the money I paid for 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 this kit, I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you get four modes, plenty of filters related with the with the with the lights. Uh, pretty pretty cool. The truck looks amazing with them. So for me, is 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 a it's a good buy. So I would recommend it. Go for it. And if I figure it out why I have that problem with the reverse lights and the stop light, I will leave a comment below. Also, I will leave uh, some links in order to you to find this 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 light kit. That right now is 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 pretty hard to find them. I was surprised when I went to this local hobby store, and they had like uh, three of them. So I bought it immediately and to give you this review. So guys, this is this is it for today. Uh, my name is Santiago Salinas, this is the Stuff RC, please subscribe and see you next week with another RC video, take care!